Hi, we are Julie Bertels and Arnaud Destrebeck. We work at the ULBB Lab, which is part of the Center for Research in Cognition and Neurosciences at the Université Libre de Bruxelles. We will present a research we made in collaboration with Estibali San Anton and Tizia Hebeus, published in Developmental Science. We know that infants are able to learn the statistical regularities present in their environment. For example, they learn the associations between visual objects presented one by one or at the same time. Here, we ask whether they are able to learn associations between an interesting object and the context in which it is presented. This is indeed an important ability that we adults use in our everyday life. For instance, when you have to look for a specific product in the shelves of a supermarket or for the location of a red light in an unknown crossroad. Here is an example of the stimuli that we used to study this ability in infants. In each scene, a series of geometrical shapes was presented at various locations on the screen. That's what we called the context. Right after, an interesting blinking object, the target, appeared in one of the corners of the screen. Infants were habituated to eight of those scenes. For each scene, so for each context, the target appeared always at the same location, so that each context exactly predicted the location in which the target will appear on the screen. This is for instance scene A, with the target appearing always in the left upper corner. And this is scene B, for which it was always presented in the lower right corner. In the learning phase, these eight scenes were presented successively to the infants. Then, we tested their ability to learn these associations between context and target location. We presented the same context one by one, this is for instance scene A, but this time the target could be presented either on the same location as in the learning phase or on the diagonally opposite location. To assess whether the infants learned the associations, we measured how long they paid attention to the test scenes. Depending on whether they were familiar, that is, the target context association was respected, or unfamiliar, namely, it was not the same as during the learning phase. We observed that, on average, infants looked longer at the test scenes in which the target was presented at the familiar location than at the unfamiliar location. These results show that infants were able to differentiate the two types of test trials and therefore indicate that they learned the target context associations. Several questions follow from these results. For instance, did they learn all the context or only part of it? Indeed, they don't have to pay attention to all the context elements to learn the associations. To address this issue, we measured what we called the familiarity effect. This is simply for each of the eight contexts, the difference in looking time between the familiar and the unfamiliar associations. Then, for each scene, we measured the distance between the target and each of the elements of the context. We wanted to measure if one or several of these distances could predict the familiarity effect during the test. But it is possible that infants were not only interested in single elements of the scenes, but identified pairs or triplets of them and associated these chunks with the location of the target. We then computed distance indexes between pairs and triplets of them. All in all, considering all individual shapes and all possible pairs and triplets of them, we computed 92 of these distance indexes. We observed that five of them were strongly correlated with the familiarity effect measured during the test phase. Making a regression analysis, we identified two of these indexes as the best predictors of the familiarity effect at test. As you can see, these two groups of shapes were very strongly correlated with the infant's preference for the familiar scenes during the test phase. In conclusion, we can say that infants were not only able to learn the associations, but also to chunk complex scenes in smaller subsets in order to locate the target. These subsets were strong predictors of their looking times at test. In further studies, we will measure whether they also use this knowledge to anticipate the onset and the location of an interesting target. Thank you for your attention.